All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakar Kodash. The Barnes, the Apostle, and those great millstone are teaching us the one percent truth according to Bible real well and peace and blessings to afflict the nation of Israel. This is Sirach 17 and 10, and the elect shall praise His holy name. This is a Sirach 17 and 10, and the elect shall praise his holy name. The election of Yah by Shema Washai are going to praise the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. We will know those names, right? You know, dealing with this whole name situation, you know, I had a couple of precepts in mind, right? And the more I thought about it, the more I watched. You know, uh, you know, different uh, brothers uh, videos and up and coming elders videos on it. You know, it's just really foolish to think that we wouldn't have the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, you know. As we understand that our Lord, you know, sprang out of the tribe of Judah, right? And he was a Hebrew Israelite, right? And he was given a name here in Matthews 1. And 21, and she shall bring forth a son, right? Talking about Mary, the mother of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And she should bring forth a son, right? And she was married to Joseph. And they they had uh, intercourse and conceived a son, which was who? Yahweh Shai. And thou shalt call his name, you know, it says Jesus here, you know, but is Jesus Hebrew? Is that a Hebrew word? So it is Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. And that's what Yahweh Shai means. Yah meaning he, you know, was shy. Uh, uh, yah, Yahweh Shai. You know, you have the Yah and you have the Ha was shy. Uh, he saves, he delivers. You see? So Yahweh Shai, uh, which, you know, he is our Savior, you know? And we would have to call upon him as, you know, this is um Baruch 2, and there's so much, you know, that I was meditating on, you know, but I want to kind of keep it to the point. This is uh, Baruch 2, and um, and 32, uh, and 31, and shall know that I am the Lord, right? The children of Israel, those, you know, that the Lord puts a spirit upon in these last days are going to know that the Heavenly Father, he, he is our Lord, He is our God. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear, right? The elect will be given a mind and of understanding to hear that the sayings are coming out of the book, you know, being taught by the true men, the Lord. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. You know, let IUIC tell you, you know, it's talking about his reputation, right? Everything the Lord stands for, well, that is part of it, right? But what is his name? You know, what, you know, who is this God that we would praise and worship? You know, when you read Exodus third chapter, he told you, you know, Moses asked, who, who shall I say sent me? And are not we in the lot of Moses in these days? You know, are we not in the uh, going down to Pharaoh and telling him to let my people go? Uh, uh, that we may serve the Lord, you see? So the Heavenly Father, before he sent forth Moses, right? He sent forth us with his name, right? Who sent me? Yahweh Shema Washai. You know, the God that created the heavens and the earth sent me out on the highways and hedges to preach, you know, repentance, to, to preach the kingdom of heaven, right? Which is the downfall of this wicked and evil world. <coughs> Proverbs 30 and 4, who have ascended up into heaven or descended, who have gathered the wind in his fist, who have bound the waters in the garment, who have established the ends, all the ends of the earth. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canest tell, what is his name? What is the heavenly father's name? What is his son's name? If thou canest tell, what is it? 
You know, the name has been revealed, you know. You read, we've been bringing out St. John, the 17th chapter, right? This isn't your first uh, video you see on this, right? I want to... <coughs> Um, yep, this is a uh, St. John 17, right? And I'll start at 26. If any man serve me, let him follow me, and where I am, there shall he also, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. When Yahweh I was praying to the Heavenly Father, was he saying, Father? You know, was he just saying, you know, oh, God, save me? You know, God, save me. You know, or was he saying, Yahweh, save me? You know, you know, was, you know, what was he saying? He was praying in Hebrew. We spoke Hebrew. We are Hebrew Israelites. You know, and uh, you know, it speaks about how we should speak the language of Can a language of Canaan. Tells you in Zephaniah the third chapter that we will, uh, you know, have the pure tongue, right? It says, "I say, Father, save me from this hour." But for this cause came I unto this hour, Father, glorify Thy name. Then came a voice from heaven. Saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again, right? And he's going to glorify it again when we are delivered out of Babylon the Great, America. And all the earth is going to know that Yalabai Shema Washai took down the heathens, that he took down Babylon the Great, that he saved his people. All the earth is going to know that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has done these things. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Un others said an angel spake to, to him. You see? So some people, they actually heard the angel speaking, right? And some people actually heard thunder. Because it's not given to everyone to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It's not given to all uh, people, you know? <clears throat> it's not so it's not given to all the nation of Israel. You know, and uh Slaki, I had a precept I wanted to get after this, you know, but um it kinda slipped my mind dealing with the name. But, you know, I do wanna get you know, I do have two precepts on the name, right? And why the name of the Lord are so important. This is Psalms nine and ten, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, right? Those that know the name of the Lord are going to put their trust in him, right? The name of the Lord, not God and most high Christ blessed. That's not the name of the Lord. God is a title. Christ is a title, right? The Messiah, which we understand what you guys are saying, right? We understand, but we have to be, uh, you know, separate from this world, right? Yeah, we get it, right? You guys are saying the Most High in Christ bless, but what is what? What are their names? You know, and they that know Thy name will put their trust in Thee. They that know their name, those names are gonna put the trust in the Lord. Yeah, for Thou has not forsaken them that seek Thee. Yep, and the Wali Yah by Shema Shai. Remember the precept. That one to get, right? So, <clears throat> I believe it's Isaiah 42 and 8. I am Yahweh, right? That is my name and my glory. The glory that he's going to receive, you know, which that is my name and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images, right? Real quick, this is a Exodus... 15 and 3, Yahweh is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, right? So Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, they are men of war. And they're going to receive great glory for delivering their people, their chosen nation. Not only their chosen nation, but a remnant of that chosen nation that will be uh, saved from all types of perils and distress and anguish. You know, and ultimately nuclear destruction, 
You know, he's going to get a great name, not only saving his people, but taking down the hammer of the whole earth. In that glory, he, he's not going to give it to anyone else. That name will be behind those works, right? How is it that David slayed his tens of thousands and saw his thousands, right? Was not, should not they have just said, the king and the king's servant have slayed their thousands and tens of thousands. No, they mentioned their name. That's how important a name is. Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe, right? So the elect are going to praise that name. That name is very important. This is um, uh, Second Ezra, chapter two, right? Well, let's 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 read this. Second Ezra, chapter two, and forty two. I Ezra saw upon Mount saw upon saw upon Mount Zion a great people. Whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs, right? In the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, Yahweh Shai, taller than all the rest, literally taller. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was a more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, right? Yahweh Shai was setting, was setting crowns upon... You know, his men, right, starting with the men, the 144, which would be the government body that got delivered. So I answered the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and received palms. Oh, wait, the, you know, the. You know, they they, uh, they they only confess his reputation. They didn't confess his name, you know. That's a foolish argument, you know. And anyone with, you know, the understanding those names are the keys to our salvation. You know, uh, do you understand that? Can you receive that? Those names are the keys to our salvation, you, you ain't getting on no ships, right, without knowing those names, you know? And it's more than just knowing the name. Your spirit has to be right. You have to be those new creatures. You have to be born again. You have to put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal. And it starts with a mindset, you see? But um, Lord's willing, you know, hey, the Wali Yabba Shema for allowing me to do this lesson. With that, Lord's willing to edify. I'm going to say Shalom.